Hello and welcome to my Red Cabbage Indicator Art Experiment. In this video I'll be using solutions you can find in your home to create the pieces of art you see now. Firstly I made my Red Cabbage Juice Indicator. To do this I had to chop, blend and squeeze a red cabbage. Indicators are substances that change colour in the presence of H plus or OH minus ions. They themselves are weak acids and the colour change is caused by the dissociation of H plus from the indicator itself. Here is my red cabbage juice indicator product. Next I prepared my solutions of lemon juice of pH 2, apple juice pH 4, water pH 7, laundry detergent pH 11 and drain cleaner pH 13. Each of these solutions have a different concentration of H plus ions and therefore will have a different effect on the red cabbage juice indicator. To demonstrate this, I did a tester of my solutions on some paper I painted with the indicator. Then it was time to make some art with this. I painted some watercolour paper with the red cabbage juice and once it was dry I used the prepared solutions to paint on it. Acids and bases can have a range of different definitions but a commonly used definition is the Bronsted-Lowry definition in which a Bronsted-Lowry acid donates protons H+, and a Bronsted-Lowry base accepts them. Acidity and basicity are described by the concentration of H+, and OH- ions in solution. A high concentration of H+, ions means a high acidity, and a high concentration of OH- ions means a high basicity. The pH scale provides a measure of the acidity and basicity of a solution. It ranges from 1 to 14, with 1 being the most acidic, 7 being neutral, and 14 being the most basic. It is important to note that the pH scale does not measure the strength of the acid or base. The strength of the acid or base depends on how fully the acid or base dissociates slash ionizes in water. It can either fully dissociate, which is a strong acid, or not fully dissociate which is a weak acid. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new about acids and bases and how acid-base chemistry is involved in our everyday processes.